So what's going on guys, my name is Mr. Dalek JD and today I have a pretty cool video for you all discussing a future DLC map which I hope we are getting pretty soon. There are a lot of hints towards a zombies map taking place on an island and in this video I'm going to be showing you even more evidence that hints towards it from none other than Takio himself. We've had coordinates from Shadows of Evil, we've had a cipher about it and a full blown letter from Takio himself about the island but in this video we're going to look at this quote, talk about the history of the island map map location and how multiple ideas could influence how the story or theme of the map plays out. Now if I'm making absolutely no sense to you, do not worry, let me fill you in. I've made a separate video talking about Takio's secret letter which you can find linked down below in the description or on screen now. We won't reference it much in this video so if you do want to learn more about it then make sure to check out that video. Now in Shadows of Evil we have a hidden paper scrap written by Richtofen which has coordinates to maps we will be visiting including the giant, Dar Eisendrak, Stalingrad in Russia, and this island map. The coordinates take us directly to an island called Pompeii, not to be confused with Pompeii in Italy. This Pompeii island belongs in the Federated States of Micronesia, far out in the Pacific Ocean. Now in Dar Eisendrak, we have a lot of evidence pointing towards this being a future location, but here is a quote from Takio that pretty much confirms it. I see events yet to unfold. Conflict among allies, a place hidden by ocean, figures in shadow. I see events yet to unfold. Conflict amongst allies, a place hidden by ocean, figures in shadow. We can take a lot from this and speculate on it as well. Now supposedly at this island facility, we have a new group alongside group 935 which are called Division 9. It is clear within this timeline that World War 2 is still taking place and there was a period of time where the Japanese took control of Pompeii. Takio's letter backs up this claim that there is a good chance we will see this Japanese group at the island facility. Now Pompeii has a big history, one that contains a lot of myth and folklore legend. This is going to be a little bit of a history lesson so sit back now and relax as we dive really deep into this but one important thing that I feel could play a big part with the island is Nan Madol, a ruined city adjacent to the island of Pompeii that was the capital of the Saudelur dynasty. Now the city consists of a series of small artificial islands linked by a network of canals. There are a lot of fun myths linked to Nama Dole which could be insanely cool to see tied to zombies. According to Pompeian legend, Nan Madol was constructed by twin sorcerers Olisipha and Olisopha from the mystical western Katal. The brothers arrived in a large canoe seeking a place to build an altar so they could worship the god of agriculture. After several false starts, the two brothers successfully built an altar off Temwen Island where they performed their rituals. In legend, these brothers levitated the huge stones with the aid of a flying dragon. Doesn't sound too far from anything we've heard so far in Black Ops 3 Zombies, no? Another myth is according to local legend, the stones used in the construction of Nan Madol have been flown to the location by means of black magic. Archaeologists have located several possible quarry sites on the main island, however the exact method of transportation of construction material is still not determined even after all these years. Now I haven't touched on this before on my channel, but it's quite clear that HP Lovecraft, who's a very famous horror fiction author has played a huge influence in the direction that Treyarch has taken Black Ops 3 Zombies, Shadows of Evil being the main vocal point with the Shadow Man, Beast Mode, the Tentacles, the weird stuff that didn't really make sense basically. It's safe to assume that the Shadow Man is very similar to Cthulhu within HP Lovecraft's short story The Call of Cthulhu. He is described in that story as an ancient entity of immense power that manipulates the minds of human and is visually represented as as a monster of vaguely anthropoid outline but with an octopus like head whose face was a mass of feelers, a scaly rubbery looking body, prodigious claws on hind and forefeet and long narrow wings behind. Sounds a lot like the look of the shadow man. Now why am I talking about HP Lovecraft involved within this island map? Well the city of Narmadal was used as an inspiration to Lovecraft's city of Relaya from his story The Call of Cthulhu. In the story Relaya is a sunken city located deep under the Pacific Ocean. When Relaya rises in Lovecraft's story the only portion of the city that emerges is 
contains a single hideous monolith crown citadel in which Cthulhu is entombed. The human onlookers are awed by the sheer immensity of the city and by the frightening suggestiveness of the gargantuan statues and bas reliefs. The city is a paranormal of vast angles and stone surfaces, too great to belong to anything right and proper for this earth, and impious with horrible images and disturbing hieroglyphs. Norwegian sailor Gustav Johansson, the narrator of one of the tales in this short story, describes the accidental discovery of the city as a coastline of mingled mud, ooze and weedy cyclopean masonry which can be nothing less than the tangible substance of Earth's supreme terror, the nightmare corpse city of Relia, loathsomely redolent of spheres and dimensions apart from ours. Now, the short story also asserts the premise that while currently trapped in Relia, Cthulhu will eventually return, with worshippers often repeating a phrase which translates to, in his house at Relia, dead Cthulhu waits dreaming. Now, in The Giant, there is a hidden cipher message which says, in the cell below the waves is where honour suffers. This is a direct link to Takio 1.0, as we now know our journey in Blackwood 3 Zombies is to recover the soul of each original character, and Takio 1.0 seems to be here, possibly in a chamber similar to Dempsey 1.0, but kept hidden underwater. That and the obvious link as to how he talks about honour all the time. This could also be a double meaning talking about Cthulhu, as in the short story, he is imprisoned in the sunken city of Relia. Takio mentions in his quote about figures in shadow, which could relate to the Shadow Man Cthulhu crossover, as well as the quotes from the giant radios where he mentions that his dreams are haunted by a man in shadow. And the worshippers of Cthulhu say in his house at Relia, dead Cthulhu waits dreaming. Sometimes my dreams are a portent of the future. I fear what new terrors my visions may bring. I dare not ask if the others have also seen him. I fear a storm approaches. Now we all know the Shadow Man's soul is trapped within the summoning key. Richtofen often doesn't seem to be aware of this, but I feel it could play a huge twist in our story, hopefully within this island map, seeing as there is so much tied to the Cthulhu mythos here. There is also another island linked with an ancient legend and myth called Lumeria, a hypothetical continent that allegedly existed in the southern Pacific during or prior to the time of Atlantis, between the years of 4,500,000 BC to about 12,000 years ago. For a very long time before the fall in consciousness, the Lumerians lived in a fifth dimensional frequency and were able to switch back and forth from fifth dimension to third at will without any problem. It could be done wherever it was desired by intention and the energies of the heart. Now, the Lumerian race was a mixture of beings that came mainly from Sirius, Alpha Centauri, and a small number of them from other planets. Eventually, as these races mixed together on Earth, they formed the Lumerian civilization. To say the least, it was quite an awesome mixture. Lumeria was really the cradle of civilization on this planet, the motherland, who assisted in the eventual birth of many other civilizations. Now, Atlantis came Came about at a later time to this. Now the continent of Lumeria thrived in a state of paradise and magic for a few million years. Eventually, as a result of wars between the two major continents, great devastations took place on both Lumeria and on Atlantis. In the time of Lumeria, California was part of the Lumerian land, so when the Lumerians realised that their land was destined to perish, they petitioned the head of the Agatha network. Now where have we heard Agatha before? For permission to build a city beneath Mount Shasta in order to preserve their culture and their records. So to conclude the story rather quickly, the continent of Lumeria and Atlantis both sunk. There is very little evidence today of the remains of both Atlantis and Lumeria, and that is because the cities on the planet that did not sink were shook to rubbles or were wiped out by earthquakes or by huge tidal waves that would often go as far as 1,000 miles inland and destroy most cities and habitations in the path. Though it is unlikely Triarch would involve Lumeria in our storyline with the island, there is significant historical legend about this continent and it is located in a similar area to Pompeii. Now there's also a movie poster in Shadows of Evil titled The Missing City which depicts the city of Shadows of Evil to be lifted up by tentacles almost like the exact description of Atlantis being the lost city. This island map could be the alternate version of Atlantis which could actually be a representation of the continent of Lumeria. 
So what do you guys think of all of the evidence discussed about the island map in this video? This island map is definitely happening, we're definitely seeing some sort of island located in Pompeii. We've discussed a lot of it in this video but let me know your thoughts on this all down below in the comments section. For De Erzendrak to drop so many hints towards this island map, I feel this could be our next DLC map or our third DLC map. I think with just so many links and little hints that have been thrown towards this island map, I don't don't think we're going to be getting Stalingrad as the second map before this one seeing as we've just got so many more references to this one than we have Stalingrad. Now if you've made it to the end of the video congratulations for sitting through all of that history lesson. I hope that this video has been insightful and taught you something new and if it has drop the video a like rating as well as I really would appreciate it guys. All your support is greatly greatly loved. Subscribe if you're new around here for more Black Ops 3 zombie videos like this one and I'll catch you on another one very very soon.